Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on Tridel. Today I will show you how to set up a fully automated dropshipping store by connecting Tridel to your Shopify store. In just a few clicks you will import products, automate fulfillment and launch live without manual shipping required. Now the first step is of course to go to tridel.io which is this page here and now you can access your 14 day trial here. Okay, if you click on get started for free, it is very important to notice that this service is very expensive. So if you don't plan on actually use this, I recommend you cancel this service before the 14 days because you require a credit card for this. Okay, so always make sure that you, you know, cancel or that you have this in mind so you don't get charged $100 or, or something like that. Okay, now once you log in for the first time, you're going to be asked whether you want to connect like a dropshipping store, which is what we're going to choose to do here. And whether you want to connect like a Shopify account or something else, I recommend that you actually try uh, or you choose the Shopify store. But yeah, now keep in mind that in order for this to work, you need a Shopify store. So you can just create one or you can use your existing one. OK, if you want to create one, you have a, a, a three day free trial in Shopify, which you can use. Now, inside of Tradel here, I want to go to the fulfillment section here. Now, keep in mind before you click on connect store that you actually need a paid plan in order to do this. Okay, so the seven free day trial, it's only going to work basically like to get like a look at the dashboard and look at the products and all that. But it's not going to actually allow you to connect the store. Okay, the Shopify store. Okay, so before you click on here on connect store, you must go to your subscription here and you basically have to click on extend now and you're going to get full access by choosing a monthly subscription or a yearly or a lifetime okay this is something that i don't really like about Tridel. you know the fact that you need you cannot even test it you know so yeah but once you're ready just click on connect store and this is going to take you here and you're going to be able to connect your shopify store using like an external link which is pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory so yeah and now both platforms, Tradel and Shopify, will talk to each other seamlessly. Now let's talk about the most important feature in Tradel, which is the product research or the winning products. And here you have basically two different categories. You have the product picks and the current trends. The product picks are basically a list of products that has been picked by you know the specialist Tradel's team. Okay, although I actually believe that they are picked by an AI. So yeah, and these are updated daily. Okay. You also have the current trends, which are basically products that are trendy in today's market. OK, so, yeah, if we, for example, go to the product peaks, we can short them out by date added, profit per unit, purchase price, rate of interest, monthly sales, sales and also by your niche, OK, which is very, very important. So if you, if you for example, have like an electronic niche store, you can just click on electronics. OK, and this is going to show you all of the products in this category. Now, a couple of options that are actually very important is the show higher selling price and the use bulk purchase price. OK, I don't recommend that you check this on unless you're a very big store already. But if you're like a like small store, I think you should keep this off and the show higher selling price. I probably you should keep this off as well if if you want to be competitive with other markets or with other stores. OK, so this is my personal advice here. Now, whether you are in the product peak section or in the current trends, this is going to work the same. You can just access a product by clicking on it, by clicking on show details. And basically here you, you're going to get the product cost, which is how much it's going to cost you to import this to your Shopify store and the selling price, which is what you are going to get by selling this. OK, and that, therefore you have the, the profit, which is the selling price minus the product cost, of course. Now, here's something that I don't like about Tradel too much, and it's the fact that I believe the profit per sale or the selling price is a little bit over exaggerated. If you have this selling price here for this umbrella, you're not going to be able to compete at all with Aliexpress or Amazon or with any other supplier. OK, and therefore you're not going to be able to sell anything. So I believe this is something that they can definitely work on in order to have like a more realistic, even with a lower margin selling price. But yeah. In any case, you can just study this product if it's good for your store or not by basically coming to this metrics here, product demand and the saturation. And this is going to give you like the interest of this product here in time. OK, so as, as you can see here, the interest for this product kind of peak in the summer, which makes sense because it's an umbrella with a fan and with a misting. OK, so it makes a lot of sense. Actually, you here have the regional interest and the saturation indicator, which tells you how many stores are selling this product. Here you have just different metrics, OK, which are like for the selling price and all that. Not very 
talent to be honest and you also have the targeting on social media which again is very optimistic usually i find and now you have the competitions and the key metrics which tell you the stores that are selling these products okay so you can for example if you want to sell if you want to see the selling price of this store you can just click here on any of these stores and you can see the selling price this is what i was telling you exactly you know this is 32.95 dollars and here they're asking you to sell it at 75 dollars you know which is very very optimistic but yeah once you're ready to import this product to your store you can just click on this button that says import to shopify here and once that is done you can just come to your product section in your shopify store here and you can see it once it's there okay and you can add it to your store and start selling it okay Remember that we cover in another tutorial how to actually create a quick shop Shopify store, but yeah, this is something that is very easy to do. So let's talk about the pros and cons of Trudel, in my opinion. The pros, in my opinion, is that you can have the fully automated products by just clicking on one click, which is the import to Shopify button here. You can also look at the detailed metrics for these products here and at what store it's been sold, and yeah. Now, I also like, for example, the product cost is usually nice and not very expensive, but yeah. Now, the cons, and I believe these are very important cons, is that you cannot try this for free at all because you actually need to have a paid plan if, if you want to connect it to your Shopify store. So you cannot do this, you cannot use this at all, actually. In my opinion, also, the selling price is very optimistic, so you don't actually get like a real metric or like a real measure or of how much you're gonna earn by selling this product here. So this actually is a very big con in my opinion because what is the use of this service if you don't really know what is the profit per sale of each product that you are selling. So yeah, this, uh, this is my opinion on this service and I hope that maybe they can add like a really free trial, like a complete free trial for this service. Okay, thank you so much guys.